so let me at least uh, get this game updated here with the diamond bat. Now that I see the line here, I was going to just ignore the game, actually. I thought the Diamondbacks might be a little late to market with their announcement. I think the fact that uh, Jarvis is in there maybe shows that they are. But they're still going to be a big favorite here. The pressure is on. It's, you know, I don't know. Is it disappointing that they have to rely on a pitcher? Is Jarvis just an opener here uh, against Tuki Toussaint? Who, you know, Toussaint, like I said, he was not necessarily a free agent pickup. And I think I quoted it wrong. I think I said, oh, he was, you know, on the Braves. But I think he was actually the Guardians took him and then to the White I, I don't even know at this point. But uh, he's not totally just a, a, you know, free agent mopping it up. There might be a future beyond this season. Well, I'm sure there is, a, you know, going to try to. But just success-wise for Tuki Tucson, nonetheless, the Diamondbacks are – uh, you know, going to need this game, no doubt about it. They've won eight of their last 10. They're still in a hot battle. They certainly can feel pretty comfortable here right now. Two game lead over the Cubs in Miami. Remember, they'd have to fall behind both of those teams not to qualify for the postseason. So, uh, Tucson, 1.59 ERA in his last two starts. The White Sox have gone under in 11 of their last 15 games, while the Diamondbacks have gone over in nine of their last 13. I do have to take just a little peek here and see if anything has transpired uh, in the markets here with this game. I'm showing the opener came out at uh, about $1.48 on the consensus and is now up to $1.67. And uh, one, off, one book at a dollar seventy-five, as high as a dollar seventy-five here on Arizona. I mean, you're obviously going to pay a little bit of a tax as well. I mean, we know the White Sox are pretty bad. They've actually won four out of their last nine, which doesn't sound good, but for them, I guess that's pretty okay. So I don't know. It sounds, feels like some feels like runs uh, a little bit here. Boy, uh, move is. Uh, to the moves on Arizona, uh, pretty stiff here. Man, could could you really lay Arizona some chalk here? They, while they do need the game, the pressure is not totally on here necessarily in this one. This one is a right in game because remember this series just eventually got pushed back a day because Arizona had to stay in New York to finish their series up with the Yankees. So they were able to push everything back and take this day off. The score yesterday was three to nothing Arizona in that day game. We did give you a premium winner on the under in that game. So far, there's been just a little bit of steam on the under, but uh, even more so here on the white, uh, Reported steam on the White Sox. Maybe that was down from the 175. Man, you really want the White Sox? Arizona breezed through them yesterday, three to nothing. Could I just be chalky here? I've taken some pretty weird dogs. Could I just be chalky here and lay this dollar sixty-five? What are you guys up to in the chat in this one? And we've got. Uh, Ray going under here. Yeah, I'm watching, you know, I went under yesterday as a premium. I, I felt I didn't only went two and one with the uh, with the premiums, but uh, that game felt like from the first pitch, it felt like it was going to be an under. And Solo likes the over in this one today. And Thomas says Diamondbacks for sure. Yeah. Sometimes the momentum is just a little bit too much. I'll just lay a dollar seventy-five as a free play. That's what I'm. That's what I'll do with the Diamondbacks. Uh, again, uh, you know, I think for, I think if I have to consider, you know, Jarvis here in this situation, that that is going to be, um, I would guess, an opener here in this one. So that's okay if that's their approach. Yeah, Jarvis, this will be his first start. Uh, he does go an average of two innings in his nine relief appearances. The numbers have been pretty good so far. So he'll just be in there for a few innings, one or two innings, and uh, and probably see where they stand at that point. 
Looks like we're all in the Diamondbacks here. Just tough to lay a dollar set, even in this situation, right? I Yes, the Diamondbacks trying to move in on clinching a playoff berth. They're going to do it, uh, barring a total collapse. So uh, they're considerably better, you know, than the White Sox, obviously. And the White Sox couldn't even produce a run yesterday in, uh, uh, in that game against uh, uh, B5. <laughs> so uh, that's got to say something, too. Okay, got that one, Diamonds and White Sox. 